gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. something about Fridays that make people not want to work out. This place has been packed every morning at the same time. It's empty right now. But it don't stop for me, baby. Fridays, we get it in just like any other day. We're grinding. We're getting as fast as cardio in right now. And then I'm gonna jump on the plane, man. Head back to Texas, baby. Head back to Texas. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see the family. I'm excited to get in my own kitchen. Oh, man. I can't wait. Feeling good, though. I woke up pretty tight today. That's a plus. I'm super curious to see what that scale reads. Y'all know I haven't stepped on the scale since Monday morning before I got on the plane. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna jump on that scale. We'll see what's up. All right, YouTube. Lucky me, my plane has been delayed. Don't know why it's been delayed. There is no snow outside that could pre prevent the plane from taking off, but I'm delayed till 12. I was supposed to leave at 8.45. Now I'm leaving at 12, so that's a big difference. So. I'm not getting back to Texas until 5.30. I was scheduled to get there at 3.30. That kind of just changed only two hours, but we got a lot of time. Now I'm about to head to the gym because I might as well get a lift in. No need to just sit around the hotel. I'm up. It is 7.12 right now in the morning. Once I'm up, I don't go back to sleep. That's one thing about it. So I'm up. I did my fasted cardio this morning. I did some posing this morning. You guys know how much I'm all about posing and trying to get better with transitions and everything so i pose at night and i pose in the morning so i did some posing i took some progress pics just to see where i'm at just to see how i'm looking tomorrow is three weeks out three weeks out man it's, it's crazy because been dieting for so long been been prepping for so long started january 8th 14 weeks out man three weeks out tomorrow i'm excited for that I'm also excited because I will most likely be getting a cheap meal. Uh, I'm celebrating my three-year anniversary with my wife tomorrow, so probably going to enjoy myself just a little bit, get a burger, burger and fries, get some drinks or whatever. So three weeks out tomorrow. Uh, anyways, headed to the gym right now. We're about to go train shoulders because y'all know how I feel about that last shoulder day I had about two days ago, man. It was horrible. So. I'm about to go train shoulders for real, about to get it in. I might even throw some arms in there just because we got time and just because I'm just feeling good right now. So probably throw some arms in there, probably sit in the sauna again, just relax. So we got time, let's hit the gym. I know that I can't lie I got some issues, I know that I can't lie Cause I got a bitch, but I fuck hoes on the side So, I'm jumping in here real quick, just to give you guys a quick voiceover. I haven't done this in a while, especially over a workout, and I'm actually on the iMovie right now, just straight off the app with it, but I just wanted to chime in real quick, not really talk about the workout per se, I mean, I'm training shoulders, you guys seen shoulder workouts before. I'm just here to talk quickly about YouTube and contest prep and 
died into the extreme. I mean, you know, I sit around and I'm, I watch YouTube videos all the time, especially when I'm doing my cardio, and I'm always wondering to myself, why aren't there any like day to day lifestyle contest prep living for you know the pros out there, you know the IBB pros, you know, because we want to see, we want to see pretty much how they're living every single day, man. The meals they're eating every time, every day, and how they're adjusting certain things. I mean, we want to see that, you know, and I and I realized today that. It has to be draining in order for them to actually film their entire lives. I mean, I'm draining myself trying to juggle family work in this contest prep, let alone record videos, you know, and give you guys some decent content. I mean, it's tough. You know, it's rough. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely just screwed up lifting that. I just <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I was drained coming home. I was starving. And it it took a lot out of me to, you know, pick up the camera, of course. But, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. I want to show you guys, you know, how I'm going about this prep. I mean, I'm not even in the big leagues. I'm just doing, a you know, a regular local show out here on my base. But I know how to diet and I know how to contest prep. And, I mean, I'm hitting it, you know. I'm, I'm killing my body, you know, daily. You know, definitely basically in starvation mode at all times, you know. Even when the carbs are high, my energy is low. And that's crazy, you know. So, I just want to say, man, whatever whatever you're going to do, man, just try to put 100%, put all your effort into it. I mean, that's the only way to get the best results, you know. And although people might not see it, you know it for sure. You know inside of you that you gave it your all. Because that's one thing about it. We got a social media you got YouTube and all this kind of different uh, ways for people to see you, you know, see how shredded you are, see how hard you work, see what you're eating. But in all actuality, none of that really matters, you know. At the end of the day, it's all about how much hard work you put into it, the dedication, your focus, your vision, and how you per you see it, you know, your perspective on everything, you know, how you're going about your daily life. The people that are close to you will see it. They will know how hard you work, especially your family that lives with you. They... Obviously, we'll see your mood swings go up and down, up and down. But, you know, the world might not see it, you know. All they'll, all they'll see when you jump on that stage is your physique. You know, whether you come in shredded, whether you come in full, whether you got muscles, you know, that's all they're going to see. They're not going to see the grind, you know, and that's, that's one thing about it. So you just got to focus, man. Stay on the grind for yourself. Don't really worry about trying to get everybody to see you, trying to notice you, you know. Just getting in work, you know, every day is going to be a struggle. It's not going to be easy. Uh, you're always going to be hungry. You should be hungry. Uh, you're probably not going to like majority of the foods that you consume because it's repetition and it's boring and it gets old, man. So you try to spice it up any way you can, but at the end of the day, you can only do so much, man, because you want to make sure the quality is there for your food, you know. You want to get the most volume out of your food. And you got to eat low calorie. I mean, that's pretty much how it is. Unless you're like some huge 300-pound bodybuilder, nine times out of ten, you're low calorie, you know. And nine times out of ten, majority of your prep might be low carb. I mean, that's just how it is. You go no carb, and then you carb up. You refeed. That's pretty much what we do. So right now, I'm pretty much practicing a peak week. I'm three weeks out from my show. Yes, I know this video is old. This video is a couple of days old, and I'm giving it to you now. But uh, like I said, man, it's a struggle. You know, it's not easy, especially when you got to upload these videos yourself. You got to edit them. It's not easy, but, you know, we, we get it done. So I'm, I'm giving you guys everything I can. I've actually switched up to day-to-day -to -day vlogs. I mean, I'm giving you guys day-to-day -day stuff. And you see, you see my inside life, I mean, for the bodybuilding part of it. You don't see too much family things, but I can't give it all to you guys. Like I, I can give you, you know, me in the gym. I can show you my skinny legs, you know, my calves. Calves just, calves suck, man. That's what it is, man. Calves are, are a shitty body part, man. You can't, it's hard to grow those things. You walk on those things all day long. And it's crazy how genetics plays, but it is what it is but anyways man yeah so i just wanted to jump in here on this quick voiceover i hope it sounds pretty good i mean this is just a macbook um but yeah man i just wanted to jump in here give you guys a little motivation 
as you hear in my voice, I'm pretty much down right now too. I mean, died in for 11 weeks now, man. It's it's painful, you know. <laughs> but we almost at the finish line, man. We're not gonna stop, man. So. Just keep grinding, man. Keep doing what you got to do. Stay focused. Like I said, the world doesn't have to see your hard work and dedication. You know in your heart that you put it all in and you gave it 100. So continue to give it 100 and you will see those results at the end, at the finish line. And hey, man, you reap those benefits, man. So do what you got to do. Stay on the grind. And I'll highlight y'all later. Baking in this sauna right here. Hey, let me make something clear because I don't want anybody getting false information from this channel. The sauna is not a place you go to to simply lose weight, okay? So if you are an overweight person, I would not recommend you just sit in the sauna for hours thinking that you're going to lose a lot of weight because that's not the case. So the case for me and why I use the sauna is simply because... As you see, I'm sweating like crazy, like I'm drenched in sweat and I take in a lot of sodium, especially on this trip that I am uh, in here in Virginia and when you eat out in restaurants a lot. So this is beneficial for a lot of restaurant eaters. When you eat out a lot, you tend to consume a lot more sodium. And if you're drinking an adamant amount of water, you can flush it out somewhat, but you can also come to the sauna to help you get rid of all that. So as you see, I'm sweating it off, sweating off a lot of water weight, sweating off a lot of sodium. That's just my opinion, my view on how I see the sauna. So that's pretty much why I do it. As we get closer to the show, I definitely need to incorporate more sauna work. I usually do abs in the sauna. And that's simply because why just sit here? No point in just sitting here. Uh, as you see, I don't have any headphones. I'm kind of like in my zone, just thinking mentally, just, just chilling man you know what i mean so use a sauna for that purpose don't use a sauna if you need to drop 30 pounds and you think if you sit in a sauna for two hours you'll drop 30 pounds no you will probably drop dead i mean your heart rate is pumping while you're in here so that's another good thing you can use it for uh, heart rate purposes use it before your workout get your heart rate up and then when you go to your workout, go lift some weights or do some cardio, now your heart rate is up. Now you probably burn more fat. So use it for that purpose as well. Just do not come in the sauna thinking you're about to drop a crazy amount of weight because that is not the purpose of the sauna. The sauna is a relaxation spa area. Hey man, I'm stuck in this damn airport. I'm not leaving till five. It is three o'clock. I've been here for a minute now. I think we got here like around 12. I had a salmon salad, a lot of bacon on there.